as our organization continues to grow and now fulfills a new national multidisciplinary mandate, I'm really excited to be working with our board of directors. Some have been with us for a number of years, so they bring some incredible legacy and institutional knowledge around our history, and that will help ground us as we continue to expand and explore new territory as a national organization. Uh, but I'm also very excited about our new board members who bring experience in finance, in the nonprofit sector, uh, and in uh, working with government and to bring those uh, perspectives onto our board will be really, really important in fueling our organization's growth. It will also be very, very important in allowing us to um, take into consideration all the different angles uh, as we uh, fulfill the goals and objectives of our new five-year strategic plan. I'm also really excited about working with our new incoming board chair, Rob Roach. Uh, he's been tremendously uh, thoughtful with his approach as a board member, um, really bringing forward perspectives that we might not have considered before in, uh, in working and leading this organization. And most importantly, he, ha he brings a ton of fun and positivity into this organization, something that is really important for us, uh, even as we continue to grow into becoming a national organization, we can never forget about having a little bit of fun. So really looking forward to working with Rob as our chair and working with our new board members uh, in the coming years ahead. Somebody said to me, we need to go through life having serious fun. And that those two things balanced are unique in people. Very, very few people can maintain those two things throughout their whole life. I think that Rob will bring a, a certain kind of energy, uh, public speaking ability to represent our organization in the kind of culture that I think it needs to be represented in. Um, and then also sort of an innate leadership, which is something it's hard to explain, hard to define, but some people are just natural leaders. Someone that, that commands respect, but also makes you smile. So I'm very excited to see Rob take over. I think it's going to be a really exciting time for the organization under his leadership. I'm really excited to be part of the National Access Arts Centre because it's a group of people doing important work and doing it really well. The fact that I, in a small way, can contribute to that and be part of it Tremendously honored and, and very excited. I can say unreservedly that you know, we've got a great uh, board of directors in place right now at the National Access Arts Centre. Now building on years and years of volunteers who have enabled it to get to the point where it is today and all the good work they've done, we're really standing on their shoulders. With that said, I think there's a commonality across all of us that really believes firmly in sort of the core things that the organization is about, including the fact that you know it's about diversity and inclusion and equality for persons living with disabilities. It's about their artistic expression and allowing them to really soar. And now, as we've become the National Access Arts Centre, to take it uh, on that national stage. And I think this board, I wouldn't want to be with any other group of people. They're terrific. So it's my pleasure to introduce the Board of Directors of the National Access Arts Centre. I'm Rob Roach, incoming chair, Jeff DeBoer, past chair, Judy Galbraith, vice chair, Andy King, John Stinson, Kate Abbott, Kate Price, Ken Reagan, and Lisa Cook.